I will persist until I succeed. This is the greatest salesman in the world. This is scroll number three from the book. The author is Agmandino. This is a complete 305 day challenge. And what I do is do this three times a day. If you haven't seen my other videos in order to program the subconscious to do the things that we really want ourselves to do. But through watching all these motivation videos and all these other things and trying all these different things, it doesn't seem to really work for some reason. So this is a way, a surefire way that it will definitely work. I've already done it and I've proven the point. Um, it's twice, uh, two times in a world, top 10 in my own, in the companies who I work for and had all the success which is promised in the scrolls. So that's why I'm doing this again and um, it definitely works. But why don't you just subscribe and find out for yourself, stay on the ball with me and see how this works. So I'm at the beginning, I'm only on scroll number three right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, I will persist until I succeed. In the Orient, young bulls are tested for the fight arena in a certain manner. Each is brought to the ring and allowed to a pack of picador who pricks them with a lance. The bravery of each bull is then rated with care according to the number of times he demonstrates his willingness to charge in spite of the sting of the blade. Henceforth, you can imagine he's bleeding and he's getting stung again and he's going again and going. What kind of toughness, what kind of character, what kind of strength you have to do in order to do that over and over again. Henceforth will I recognize that each day I am tested by life in like manner. If I persist, if I continue to try, if I continue to charge forward, I will succeed. I will persist until I succeed. I was not delivered into this world in defeat, nor does failure course in my veins. I am not a sheep waiting to be prodded by my shepherd. I am a lion. And I refuse to talk, to walk, to sleep with the sheep. I will hear not those who weep and complain, for their disease is contagious. Let them join the sheep. The slaughterhouse of failure is not my destiny. I, I will persist until I succeed. The prize of life are at the end of each journey, not near the beginning. And it is not given to me to know how many steps are necessary in order to reach my goal. Failure I may still encounter at the thousandth step, yet success hides behind the next bend in the road. Never I know how close it lies unless I turn the corner. Always will I take another step. If that is no avail, I will take another and yet another. In truth, one step at a time is not too difficult. I will persist until I succeed. Henceforth, I will consider each day's effort as but one blow of my blade against a mighty oak. The first blow may cause not a tremor in the wood, nor the second, nor the third. Each blow of itself may be trifling and seem of no consequence. Yet from childish swipes, the oak will eventually tumble. So it will be with my efforts of today. I will be likened to the raindrop which washes away the mountain, the ant who devours a tiger, the star which brightens the earth, the slave who builds a pyramid. I will build my castle one brick at a time, for I know that small attempts, repeated, will complete any undertaking. I will persist until I succeed. I will never consider defeat and I will remove from my vocabulary such words and phrases as quit, cannot, unable, impossible, out of the question, improbable, failure, unworkable, hopeless, and retreat, for they are the words of fools. I will avoid despair, but if this disease of the mind should infect me, then I will work on in despair. I will toil and I will endure. I will ignore the obstacles at my feet and keep my eyes on the goals above my head. For I know that where dry desert ends, green grass grows. I will persist until I succeed. I will remember the ancient law of averages and I will bend it to my good. I will persist with knowledge that each failure to sell will increase my chance for success at the next attempt. Each nay I hear will bring me closer to the sound of yea. Each frown I meet only prepares me for the smile to come. Each misfortune I encounter will carry in it the seed of tomorrow's good luck. I must have the night to appreciate the day. I must fail often to succeed only once. I will persist until I succeed. I will try and try and try again. Each obstacle I will consider as a mere detour to my goal and a challenge to my profession. I will persist and develop my skills as a mariner develops his by learning to ride out the wrath of each storm. 
I will persist until I succeed. Henceforth I will learn and apply another secret of those who excel in my work. When each day has ended, not regarding whether it's been a success or a failure, I will attempt to achieve one more sale. My thoughts beck my tired body homeward. I will resist the temptation to depart. I will try again. I will make one more attempt to close with victory. And if that fails, I will make another. Never will I allow my body any day to end with a failure. Thus will I plant a seed of tomorrow's success and gain an insurmountable advantage over those who precede their labor at a prescribed time. When others cease their struggle, then mine will begin and my harvest will be full. I will persist until I succeed. Nor will I allow yesterday's success to lull me in today's complacency. For this is the great foundation of failure. I will forget the happenings of the day that is gone, whether they were good or bad, and greet the new sun with confidence that this will be the best day of my life. So long as there is breath in me, that long will I persist. For now I know one of the greatest principles of success. If I persist long enough, I will succeed. I will persist. I will win. And I thank you very much for watching this channel. If you want to join, this would be the same thing as, you know, um, influencing your subconscious in a way so that you're doing the things that you want to do. Or you can do the book yourself. Maybe you want this for inspiration. But at any rate, you're more than ha I'd be more than obliged for you to subscribe. Or if you want to give a comment or one of these, I'm always happy for everything. Thank you very much for staying in tuned and all the best. Peace. Bye-bye.